Hi, hi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good night. Hi, hi. How are you today? I am fine. Hi, fine. Great, great. How are you? How was your day today? Did you have a nice day? Yes. Huh? Did you have a nice day? Vamos a ver if everybody here. Abner Adoni. Abner Adoni. Alexa, Ajá. Ana Luisa, André Pardo. André. Bueno, ¿verdad? Can you hear me? Okay. Hi. Hi, hi. O es que todos los primeros de la lista no están. Present teacher. Okay. ¿Me pueden escuchar? Yes. Yes, teacher. Es que como pregunté, Hawaii, nadie. Llamo lista, voy llamando, nadie contesta. Yo dije, quizás no suena mi micrófono. Bye, pero... sí, señor, aquí está lloviendo ahorita, pero casi no le escucho. Mm, está lloviendo. ¿Dónde está lloviendo ahorita? Lo urde. Really? A mí aquí me apareció que... Lluvia pronto, pero a ver a qué horas aquí estamos con un calor como que estamos en San Miguel. André, sí, me dijo present, ¿verdad? Angie. Angie, Angie. Presente. Present teacher. Early. Hermano Emi. Present teacher. Carla Milena. Yes. Present. María. Present teacher. Marta Marisol. Present teacher. Mauricio. Mauricio, no está Mauricio, Miguel Ángel, Miguel, Miguel, tenemos rato de no verlo, Nancy, present, Oscar Humberto, 
Present teacher. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Ursula. Present teacher. William Giovanni. Present. Ok. No sé si Abner, Alexa y Ana Luisa se conectaron hoy después de que la llamé. I hear teacher Abner Molina. Ok. Y Mauricio, Miguel. No. Ok. Well. Well, nice to see you. Yesterday we were talking about demonstrative pronouns, right? Demonstrative pronouns. Today eh, we are going to talk about can and could. That's the topic for today. Can and could. And we are going to see the different uses for can and for could. Okay. This is the objective. Participants will be able to ask and answer questions using can and could in pairs, effectively following the label of formality that each of them requires. And when we use a can, we will know, we will learn the use of can and the use of could and how uh, they can be formal or informal, right? But before, let's make a mini review of yesterday's class. Remember, what's this? What's this? How much is this? How much is this? How much is that blouse? How much is this computer? Mm. It is five hundred dollars how much is that blouse it is twenty dollars how much are these jeans this right how much are these jeans they are fifty dollars how much are those shoes over there over there means Uraja. how much are those shoes over there they are ninety five dollars that's reviewing yesterday's talk, right? Talking about this, that, this, and those. Do you have any question about that structure? This, that, this, those. Questions? No questions. Mm -hmm. No? No questions? No questions about yesterday's class? No teacher. Okay. Now, we have here uh, two conversations, right? One using singular and the other using plural. Remember that we said that we also use this, that, or this, and those when we are asking for prices, right? When we want to buy something in presence or in any form, right? So if you want to buy something, we are going to use, what are we going to use? When we ask for, for something, we use this or that. And we also ask for how much, how much, how much are these shoes? How much, how much, singular, right? How much are these boots? How much is this computer? So check the conversation. Excuse me, how much is this shirt? Which one? The blue one. 
or the red one. Remember, we said also uh, we use one for singular and we use ones for plural, right? If we're talking about singular, we use one. And for plural, we use ones. And that is to substitute the noun. We're talking about pronouns, remember, right? Okay, repeat after me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse How much me. is this shirt? How much, How much is, is this shirt? shirt? Which one? Which one? Which, Which one? one or the red one? The blue one the or the red one? No. Or the red one. The blue one. The blue, the blue one. one. It's thirty-five dollars. It's thirty-five dollars. And the red one? And the, and red, the red one? Now? It's thirty-two dollars. It's thirty-two dollars. I'll take the blue one. I, I take the blue one. one. Okay, <clears throat> that would be thirty-five dollars. Okay. Thirty-five dollars. Here you are. Here you are. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Excuse me, how much are those okay. jeans? Jeans. Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? Which one? Which the blue one? ones? The, blue one. the, black. the black ones. The blue ones. The blue ones. The blue yeah. ones. They are sixty-five dollars. They, they are, are sixty-five dollars. And the black ones? And the black and ones. The black ones. They are seventy-two dollars. They, they are, are seventy-two dollars. I'll take the blue ones. I take I the blue take ones. The blue ones. Okay, that would be sixty-five dollars. Okay. Okay, that would be sixty-five dollars. Here you are. Here you are. Here you are. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, nice. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to practice this conversation for a couple of minutes. I'm going to share the, the conversation in the chat, okay? So you can perfectly see it. Let's see. Solo que cargue el WhatsApp. I'm going to send you oh, nice. I'm going to send you in groups of four. Okay, so you can play roles and exchange partners and read the conversation over there. Let me see. There you go. Try to join. Try to join. And I'm going to send you the, the conversations in the chat. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Ya pueden ver la conversation. Right. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Right, to join and practice. Si alguno no puede entrar a los grupos chiquitos porque el equipo le da problema o cualquier cosa, no sé por qué a veces se da caso que no se logra entrar, pueden aprovechar con los que no puedan entrar y practicar, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Ok, let's see. Nice, nice. Tengo uno en cada uno. Nice, nice. Excelente. Ahí está. A ver, a ver. Erlik, Marta, Ursula, André, Oscar. Check if you can enter to any of the groups. Arlene. 
If no, you can practice here, okay? Little A, you? And little B, I. A, U, B. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me, how much it is a shirt? Which one, the blue one or the red one? The blue one. It is $35. And the red one? It is a uh, $32. It will take a blue one. Okay. That will be thirty-five dollars. Here you are. Here you are. Thank, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And oh, Laura. Alexia. Okay. Uh, mm, Irma, little B, e, Alexa, little A. Okay. Uh, okay. Plural. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which one, the blue one or the black ones? The blue one. They're, what is it, 65? 65. 65. 60? 65. And the black ones? Uh, there is 17 to 7. 72. 72. Dollars. 72 dollars. I will take the blue ones. Okay, then we'll be 6 five. It will be six sixty five dollar. Here you are. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Now we talk to Ursula. No sé si ya se conectó. Ah, también está Ana Luisa. Si no, practiquemos de nuevo. Okay. Entonces, empezaría con el singular ahora usted, ¿verdad? Sí. Excuse me, how much is this shirt? Which one? The blue one or the, or the red one? The blue one. Is $35. And the red one? It is $32. I will take the blue one. Okay, that will be thirty-five dollar. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, ahora voy en el plural. <clears throat> Excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue ones. They are sixty-five dollars. And the black ones? They are seventy-two dollars. I take the blue ones. Okay, that will be sixty-five dollars. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Si no sigamos practicando nosotros. Hola. Ahí está. Hola. Hola. Perdón, ahorita voy ingresando porque el internet me está fallando bastante. Pero ya vi que estaban leyendo. Ahorita comienzo, si gustan. Ok. 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 ¿Eh, ¿Comienzo o...? Vaya, si gusta usted la A y yo la B, después lo hace con William. Perfecto, ok. Excuse me, how much is the shirt? Which one, the blue one or the red one? The blue one. 
is thirty five dollars. And the red one, it's thirty two dollars. I take the blue, the blue <laughs> one. Okay, that will be thirty five dollars. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, the plural. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, how much are those those jeans? Which one? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue ones. They, they are sixty sixty five dollars. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, just a practice conversation. Practicamos la conversación en singular y plural ya. ya con sí. la compañera. Los dos, los tres, los cuatro, ¿cuánto hay? Eh, dos, bueno, tres creo. ¿Cuántos son tres? Uh -huh. okay. ¿Los tres practicaron ya? Eh, con Angie practicamos. No me había percatado que estaba Úrsula Esteli. No sé si está ahí Úrsula. Úrsula, hello. Hello, estoy aquí. Hi, how are you? If, if you want, I would like to practice the conversation. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, the practice practice the conversation. Okay. Um, excuse me, how much is that this shirt? Which one? The blue one or the red one? The blue one. It's thirty five dollars. And the red one? It's thirty two dollars. I'll take the blue one. Okay, that will be thirty-five dollar. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <coughs> Ahora en, en plural si gusta. Okay. Excuse me, how much are those things? Which ones? The blue ones or the black ones? The blue one. They are sixty-five dollars. And the black one. They are um, seventy-two dollars. I'll take the blue one. Okay, that will be uh, sixty-five dollars. Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, si gusta, um, cambiamos mm -hmm. los papeles, ahora que sea viceversa. Okay. Yo comienzo okay. y de ahí prosigue. Perfecto. Ok. Excuse me, how much is this shirt? Which one? The blue one or the red one? The blue one. It's $35. And the red one? $32. It, it, <coughs> it'll take the blue one. Okay, that will be $35. Here you are. Thank you. Great. You're welcome. Nice.
five seconds. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Ok, questions. Questions, questions. Okay, that's reviewing yesterday's class, right? Today we are going to talk about abilities. What can you use for abilities? Mm -hmm. What are abilities? What is an ability? Vamos a ver. What is ability? ¿Qué Le daremos lectura. Ability, ¿qué sí. significa? ¿Qué significa? Habilidades. Habilidades, exactly. Las abilities. I can sing but I can't dance. We can't run, but we can walk long distances. Mm -hmm. Esa palabra no lleva H. En inglés la lleva. Ability. Fíjese que no. En inglés, no. Ok. En inglés, no. En, en español, sí. Ability lleva H. Yo recuerdo la primera vez que, ense que enseñé este tema y le puse H. <ríe> y casualmente ese día me observaron y me dijeron, no lleva. <ríe> ok, that's why I perfectly remember no. It doesn't y desde ahí nunca se volvió a olvidar. Ajá, exactly. I never <laughs> forgot again that uh, it doesn't take an age, right? Okay, so you say uh, we can't. Do you have the ability? Do you have the ability? Mm -hmm. Do you have the ability of running? Sí. Yes. Yes. Can you run? Can you run? Can you run? Can you run fast? Can you run fast? Yes or no? Yes. 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 I cannot run. Can you dance? No. Yes. Can you walk long distances? Yes. 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 Can you... Okay. Can you draw? Yes. Can you color? Yes. <laughs> yes. Porque hay gente que no puede y colorea así todo rayado, ¿verdad? But can you color? <laughs> can you color? Yes. 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 Can you, ¿qué? Okay. Can you... Can you cook? Yes. 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 yes, you can cook. Can Not. you... Hmm. What can you cook? Convince me? What can you cook? Cook chicken. chicken. The rice and eggs. 
speech. Okay. You can you can cook rice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you cook lasagna? No, I can't. You can't. Can you cook? Mm. Okay. Spaghettis. Yes. Spaghettis. But spaghetti is easy. Right? <laughs> can, right. You, can you cook? Mm. ¿Qué más? Quiero ver. Um, a barbecue. Chao, <laughs> Ah, oh, okay. Can you cook a barbecue? Yes. Can you make chow mein? No. Yes. Yes, you can make chow mein. Can you... Okay. Mm. A cake? Can you make a cake? Yes. Can you make a cake? No. No. No, I can't. You cannot make a cake. I can't either. Can you make cookies? Oh. Huh? No, I can't. Can you make cookies? I cannot make cookies. Oh, I can't. You can't. Can you fly a kite? No, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't yes, fly I can. a kite. But I can make a flower. Can you make a flower? Yes. yes. Yeah. With paper or drawing? Yeah. Karen can play the guitar, but she can't play the piano. She can play the guitar, but she can't play the piano. They can swim, but they can't ride the bike. Can you swim? Yes. Can you ride a yes. bike? Can you ride a bike? A little. Yes. I never learned. Ah, <laughs> get in. Okay, so you see. Here, the, here we're talking about abilities, right? These are things that we can do. Or if we use it in negative, we are we have things that we cannot do, right? Now, apart of using can for abilities, we're talking about abilities, we can use them to make requests. For example, when you say, can I open the door? Sure, no problem. You see, uh, in the in the previous exercise, when we talk about abilities, if I ask you, can you dance? You say, yes, I can or no, I can't, right? But when we're talking about requests, if you ask me, can I open the door? I don't tell you, yes, you can, right? What I say is, sure, no problem, sure, no problem. Yeah, go ahead. Or if you, you don't have to say yes all the time, right? Not just because the teacher told you only to say yes. <laughs> no, you can say no. You say, can I open the door? Mm, I prefer not, right? I prefer not. Could I talk to you for a minute? Of course. You don't say yes, you could, right? You don't answer like that. You say, yeah, of course. Sure, why not? Or if you don't want to, you say, mm, I prefer not. <laughs> Can I, could I talk to you for a minute? I prefer not, right? But that's if you don't want to talk to the person. Can I help you? Yes, please. Oh, mm, no thanks. I'm just watching. Can I help you? Sure. Well, yes, please. If you want the help. If you don't want the help, you say, eh, no, thanks. 
I'm just watching. Like when you go to, to a store, right? And the seller chases you all around the store saying, can I help you? You say, I'm just watching. Can I help you? No. I'm just watching. Can I help you? Until you say, sure, I want to buy some. Right, but that happens. So, but check the, the answer, right? So you don't say, yes, you, yes, I can. Or yes, you can. You don't answer that way. So be careful with the answer that you give when you have an argument. Okay, now we have a conversation here and check how we using the structure. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Would you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic, cubic, so feet cubics, I imagine. A turbo processor in an intelligent keyboard, like the new ones, right? I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. Well, the warranty of it is for two years, for a year, for three years, right? So you will get the answer there. Okay, now you repeat after me. Thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much Thanks for calling. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. Linda is, Linda Linda is speaking. speaking. How can I help you? How can How I help you? Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Would you give me some information about the pro washer? Would you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. Of course. Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 cubic feet. It has a capacity of 5.2 cap a cubic turbo processor. A turbo processor. A turbo processor. And processor. an intelligent keyboard. An intelligent keyboard. I see. I see. I, see. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? Can, Can you, you give me information, information about, about the, warranty? the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Could you repeat that? Can you give me information about the warranty? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for two years. Thanks. Thanks. The warranty of it is for two years. For three years. For two years. Okay. Do you have any questions here? No. Check. We have some questions, right, about the conversation. What does one want to buy? What question can you say instead of repeat? Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Why? So I'm going to send you to the groups. I'm going to practice the conversation and answer these three questions. There we go. I'm going to stop sharing. Remember, it, this page is in the manual, right? So you go to the manual there. I'm going to send you um, with a different group. Ready, ready? Join. Join, join. Join, join.
Marta. Okay. 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 Practice the conversation and then you answer the question, right? La tienda y Ruano. No. No, no sé si está en el manual. Sí, está en el manual. Ahorita no ah. me mandará ahí algo. Página 21. Ahí la mandé el grupo. La comparto. Ahí está. Eh, si gusta, empiezo yo, después usted, Mauricio, y después eh, Silvia. Ok. Después, después Alexa. O practicamos dos primero y después los otros dos. Es correcto. Entonces, si gusta, eh, Mauricio, empiezo yo y después con usted y después este, Silvia. Y... Ok, bien. Go, go ahead. Okay. ok. Thank you so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Good to be some information about the project was was there of course it it has capacity of five five two cufd a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard i see can you get the information about the balance I'm sorry, could you repeat the, the please? Can you give me information and with the guarantee? Thanks. The warranty of it oh, of it of it is for. La última, donde Juan dice: Hi, Lina, could you take me some information about the product? Washer. ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de él? Perdón, Mauricio, no entendí que, cuál era la pregunta. No, la pronunciación de Luis. Hi, Lina. Pro washer. For. About the pro washer. Washer. Pro washer. Pro washer. Okay. Pro washer. Okay. Thank you. Just solamente aquí en donde dice, of course, it, it has a capa, a cap, capacity. Of Seria Five Two. Sí, ¿verdad? Y por letras se tiene... Cubic. Cubic. 
Y ahí en ese cap capacity of sería five two. Hello, teacher. Hi. Tell me. Capacity okay. of 5.2 cubic feet. A turbo Sería processor cool. and an intelligent keyboard. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Okay. Me toca practicar con Alexa, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a, cap a capacity of a 5.2 Q feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks, the warranty of it is for. Okay. Okay. Ahora sería la pregunta. Tengo que contestar, vea la pregunta. Yes. Uh huh. Now you answer the question. Mm. Eh, Angie, eh, son polite or impolite. ¿Cómo? Perdón. En el caso de la tercera pregunta. Por ejemplo, cuando le pregunta que si el, el customer and the agent, eh, que si son polite or impolite. Ok, mm, Yo tengo dudas. Yo creería que si son, eh, que son polite. Sí, porque... Eh, yes, or the customer is a po polite. Why the they using a call? Ajá. Está utilizando como no sé palabras. They use a call. They use a call. Okay. Is 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 kind. Teacher, hola. Eh, una consulta. Ten, tengo este quiero saber. Eh, disculpe, por ejemplo, donde dice Could you repeat that, please? Sería podrías repetir. Es podrías el repetir eso sí, otra sí. vez. Sí. Ajá. Okay. Es como más formal. Ajá. Podrías repetir eso otra vez. Ok. <coughs> Y en el can se está refiriendo a como si puedes, ¿verdad? Sí. Y el, el could es como con más respeto. Uh -huh. El could es, es más formal y más polite. Ah. 
Ok. Y el quién es así como que cuando le tiene mucha confianza a alguien, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Vamos a ver. Pero en el caso de, de cuando Linda se está presentando eh, y le dice, how can I help you? En ese caso, entonces Linda sería informal. How can I help you? No, es que, pues vaya, generalmente cuando, cuando pregunta cómo para ofrecer ayuda, ocupa a quién. Pero, uh -huh. por, pero si va a pedir algo directamente, usted dice, could you, could you help me? Could you give me the answer to this question? En vez de decir, can, can you help me? Si dice, can you help me? Es un poco informal. Ah, uh, ok. Yo. Pero, how can I help you? Ese sí, ese sí, así va. Aunque, mm. aunque sea quien es, es formal. Mm. Okay. Okay. In this case, Linda are formal, but Juan mm, are informal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Es, es more formal than Salud. Salud. Thank you. Dando fuerte la gripe. Ay, horrible. Sí. <ríe> la lluvia o sea, andan alborotando, la lluvia y el calor. Más que todo el calor, quizás los cambios de temperatura. Eso. Eso sí, aunque hay más calor, se hace y aquí está a punto de llover, que mucho se pierde la señal, yo también. Sí, se alborotó. Areli, no sé si este, anotó la de la, la tercera pregunta. Me quedé a media. Porque yo le había puesto otra, pero no sé cómo se me perdió la señal. Ya no logré escucharlas. Yo le puse la respuesta: They are cool, weird, customer. Creo que así se pronuncia, cliente. Estúper. Mm, vaya, quiero ver. Mm, yo le puse de que este de Allen es polite because ay, no sé cómo decir she they use they use a good teacher en este caso para referirse a la gente cómo le podría decir would you eh, por ejemplo eh, is polite because porque es así porque ella usa sería because they use no, because, because ella o él no, ella. Quiero ver she. si es mujer. Sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. Because she uses. Because she uses. She uses. Uh -huh. She uses. She uses. Ok. Ok. Este, Ariel, entonces, bueno, yo puse. Um, the agent is polite because she, she uses a could. Sería de H en dipolar, de is. Eh, la gente sí es como cortés o amable porque está usando el, el could. She uses a could. She uses could. She uses could. Mm -hmm. Ok. To be more polite. Eh, ok. En Juan, for me. In my opinion, Juan is not polite because he uses uh, can. 
wounds. I'm heavy. Mm -hmm. King, 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 king. In, in some. Mm -hmm. Otro casi. <coughs> ok, vamos a ver. Um, en la segunda, Angie, ¿cómo le quedó a usted lo de la, lo de la pregunta? Angie, Angie. Um, Areli anotó lo de la segunda. Sí, que es Information Abuse de Warranty. warranty. Um, information about the warranty. Ajá, uh -huh, the warranty. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, así. Ok. Uh, y la primera pro, pro wash, washer. <laughs> A pro washer. La pro lavadora. Washer. A pro washer. La pro washer. Sí, entonces sería They are a polite la última uh -huh. respuesta, ¿verdad? Sí. Polite. Yeah, polite. Si gusta, pues sigamos practicando la lectura. Vaya, ahora empiezo yo. Bye. Thanks so much for calling. William is speak. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It's a composite of 5.2. Cool. With a turbo processor and processor, processor and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat the please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The guarant the warranty of of is for two two years. Okay. Si quiere hagámoslo otra vez. Comienza okay. usted. Okay. Thanks. Thanks so much for calling. Linda y speak. How can I help you? Hi Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro washer. Of course, this is a capacity of five point two. Could fit a turbo processor and intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of is for two years. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Otra vez. Vaya, hoy empieza usted. Uh, okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Can you hear me? Some information about the for the pro wash pro wash pro washer of pro washer course. perdón of course it has a capacity of 5.2 qubit a turbo processor and an intelligent cable I see can you give me information about the warranty I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? 
Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for two years. It is for two years. A la primera. La, esa primera, la, de, la de Juan, es que se traba uno que dice, Hi, Linda, could you give me some information about the procedure? Ah, of course. It has a capacity. 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 Capacity of 5.2 cup. Y la F y la T, ¿cómo la pronuncio? F, cap, cap, feet. Uh, cubic feet. Ah, cubic feet. Uh -huh. A turbo es cube, processor. Es cubic. Es cubic. 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 Ah, okay. uh, cubic. cubic. Uh -huh. okay. yeah, a cubit. A turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. Intelligent, intelligent, intelligent keyboard. Intelligent. Ahí es donde uno se traba con eso. Ahí sería, ahí sería and int o and and. Intelligent. Intelligent. And. Antes de intelligent teacher. And intelligent. And intelligent. And, and intelligent. In... Solo una vez se oye, ¿verdad? And, uh -huh. and intelligent keyboard. Ok, hagámoslo otra vez. Son William, a ver si lo puedo. <laughs> <laughs> ok. Ok. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you hear me? So, can you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course, it is a capacity of 5.2 qubits, a turbo processor, and in an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Would you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for two years. Okay, ahora empiezo yo. Bye. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is a speak. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It is a is a capacity of 5.2 qubit a turbo processor and intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat the please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty is for two years. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Did you answer the questions? Yes, teacher. What does Juan want to buy? He wants to buy the pro washer. Pro washer. Pro washer. And what question can you say? In, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa, esa palabra, teacher? Say in, in still, or, instead. Or, instead. 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 Or of repeat. Um, information about the warranty. Yes. También pusimos una que es Yes, I call, explain the warranty. Creo que la correcta sería our information about the warranty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. And the other one is uh, are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Why? Yes, they are they a polite. Are. 
Yes, they, they are, are polite. polite. Nice. Okay, let's go then. Let's go. Thank you. Coming. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. How many are missing? Okay. Now everybody arriving. Yeah. Oh, we lost two people. Okay. Sometimes you stay in limbo, right? When you live in there. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Everybody here. Do you have any questions? Any questions? Any? No questions. No. no teacher. No questions. No questions. Okay. Let me cheer again. Mm -hmm. That's it. So we have this. And the question say, what does one want to buy? What does one want to buy? He wants to buy a pro washer. Uh-huh. He wants to buy a pro washer. What question can you say instead of repeat? Um, the information about the warranty. Instead of repeat, what can you say? Could you tell me? Uh -huh. Can you tell me that again, right? And information about the warranty. And could you could you repeat that? Check this. En vez de decirle repeat, le pregunta, could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? Another way would be, could you say that again? Right? But instead of just saying repeat, mm -hmm. repeat, you say, could you repeat that, please? In that way, um, the person sounds more polite, ¿verdad? More polite. Um, are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Yes, they are polite. polite. Okay. Why? Why do you say they are polite? Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Uh, yes, because the customer asked a question, uh, because the customer question polite. Mm -hmm. 
Exactly, because they use school to ask the questions, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, remember some uh, questions that the customers remember yesterday we were discussing that about questions that customers can ask, right? Uh, when they get to the place where you work, asking for information about the things or the products that your company sells. And some of the questions are, how much is it? What time do you open? What type of material do the children need? What products are on stack? Creo que lo que los clientes pregunten what products are on the stack, but if you have enough products like that in the stack, probably yes. Uh, how much electricity does the refrigerator consume? Mm -hmm. Is there a discount? What products are there on sale? What products are there on sale? So if the pro if the customer wants to buy not, the, not very expensive, this would be like one of the most important questions, right? This will be one of the most important questions uh, that you that customers will ask. What products are there on sale? Is there a discount? If you're worried about the electricity consume, you will say how much electricity does the refrigerator consume. And you can replace a refrigerator by what how much electricity does this air conditioning consume? Mm -hmm. How much electricity does a, let me see if you're thinking about a, a washing machine or a dishwasher, how much, Electricity does the dishwasher uh, use, right? Because sometimes people may worry about a product that they want to buy, but they want to know that the product has not or doesn't use too much electricity. How much electricity does the washing machine use? How much electricity does the dishwasher use? Right to consume. How much electricity mm, does the the printer use or the computer or whatever, right? But that is in case uh, you want to buy a product and you don't know that the product or the quantity of electricity that the product use. Okay, any question over there? Question, question. No question. How much electricity does a washing machine use or consume? Do you know? And what, what how many watts? That's what people really ask because they are worried about the consumption of electricity. Any question here? No question? No question? No question? No question? No question. Okay. Now, check, remember what we're talking about the use of can and the use of could, right? I can give you my personal information, so I can do it. It's 
possible for me to do it? Remember, we're talking about the use of can and could, and we said we can use can to talk about ability. We can use can to make requests, right? You can use a uh, can also to talk about possibility, and that's what I want. I what I can see in this sentence possibility. I can give you my personal information, so it is possible for me to give you my personal information, right? She can't pay for the washer right now. It's not possible for her. It's not that she doesn't have the ability, right? Yeah. Well, stability maybe, but she doesn't have the possibility to pay for the washer right now. So in this case, we are using can't with the meaning of possibility. Yeah, possibility. So I'm not talking just about ability, but possibility. Check the question. Can I have your credit card number? Mm -hmm. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items you need? In that case, you have a request, right? Can you tell me how many items you need? You could try another credit card. In this case, you are making a suggestion. You think good, right? We're not talking about ability from the past. We're making a suggestion. It's not a request. A request is a question, right? And in a question, you have to put the, the word could or can at the beginning. So if you put it at the beginning, it's a, it's a request, but if it's in this case, like the example, you could try with another credit card, that's a suggestion. So you are suggesting the customer to try, because probably the first card didn't pass, you're asking the person to use another one. They couldn't give you my billing address, it's impossible, right? So. In this case, we're talking about possibility, but possibility in negative, right? Like the other one there. Possibility. So check. So when can I use can? For ability, for permission, for possibility, for request. So you have four uses, right? What about could? We can use could for possibility, for making a suggestion, a polite suggestion, for making a request, to talk about abilities in the past. Okay, those are uh, the uses of could. So in this case, if you say you could try with another credit card, you could. Uh, paying cash, right? That's a suggestion. And uh, they couldn't give you my billing address. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they don't know it, so that's not possible. They couldn't give you my phone number. They don't know it, so it's not possible, right? Then we're talking about possibility, but negative, so it's not possible. It's not possible. And if we have it at the beginning, you say, could you spell your last name? Could you spell your last name? That's a request, a polite request. Remember, if we use could, we are being more polite, more formal, right? Than if we use can. Could we check the details of my order? Could we check the details? Could we check the details of my order? Sure. Why not? Right? So that's a request. Any questions about the uses of can or could here? Hmm? Yes. Peter, ¿cómo dijo que se llamaba cuando, por ejemplo, cuando va primero el can? Son questions, pero en ah. las otras dos oraciones, ¿cómo es que es? 
dijo que se, que se... Esta es una posibilidad, mi posibilidad. Aquí yo estoy expresando posibilidad. Porque estoy hablando de poder, pero no es una ability, ¿verdad? Ability como la que estamos haciendo al principio, that I can cook, I can dance, I can jump, I can run. Esas son abilities. Pero en este caso, I'm talking about something that is possible for me to do, right? If it is possible, I can use can. Talking about possibility. También les comentaba que se puede usar el can para hablar de, para permission, ¿verdad? Que nadie vendedor no es un request. Si yo digo, can you open the door? Es a request, porque yo quiero que el otro abra la puerta. Pero si quiero yo abrirla, lo que estoy haciendo es pidiendo permiso para poder abrirla. Entonces, eso es permission. Can I open the door? And you say, yeah, sure. Why? It's very cool. <laughs> right? Can I open the door? Es permission. Yo estoy pidiendo permiso. Can I close the door? Can I use your bathroom? Aunque se vea como pregunta, no es un request, es un permission. Asking for permission. Yeah? But if you say, can I have your phone number? Can you open the door? Cuando usted dice, can you ya no lo va a hacer usted, ya quiere que lo haga alguien más. Entonces, eso se convierte en un request, que es una petición, ¿verdad? Para que alguien más haga algo por usted. ¿Sí? Ok. ¿Any other question here? ¿Una no question? Okay. We're going to do it. La teacher va a copiar. No, fíjense que no. Le va a quitar la cosa. But you're going to move to the next exercise. Allí en su mano. Go over the exercise. Complete the question. And write the answer. Recuerden que les decía, cuando ustedes hacen un request, request no request, request. Eh, cuando usted hace un request, la respuesta no es yes. Can I have your name? Yes, you can. No, ¿verdad? No, no responde así. Can you open the door? Sure, no problem. No dice yes, I can. Porque no estamos hablando de ability. Estamos hablando de... Estamos hablando de un request. Ay, no, está complicado. Va a ir un error de ortografía. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Aquí mi punto le agarra de que tiene que escribir mayúsculas solo para estar al principio. Vaya, vale. complete questions. Check it. You have questions with uh, can and you have questions with could. Just remember, the, when we're making requests, You have, can you or could you? Si usted está pidiendo permission, no va a ser can you, sino que can I. Could I? Could I? Could I open the door? Ya sabe que si dice can, le va a decir no. Entonces, va así como tratando de ser un poquitito más amable, dice could I. Como cuando le dicen, William, a mí no me van a decir que no, anda vos, William, anda vos a pedir permiso. Siempre, vea, siempre en los salones ha habido un, uno de los compañeros al que mandan a pedirle, la, a pedir cosas, que saben que es al que le van a decir que sí, right Entonces, va y pregunta, ¿qué hay? Pero en ese caso es permission, pero si usted tiene, ¿can you? Esto es un request. Check it. Una palabrita no es el hecho de empezar con quién o el hecho de empezar con, con could, lo que hace el request, sino que lo que me convierte mi pregunta en un request o en un permission prácticamente viene siendo el 
you. ¿Verdad? Can I open the door? Permission. Can you open the door? Request. De acuerdo. Uh -huh. De acuerdo, de acuerdo. Vaya, let's complete the questions. I have some examples for you, but you do your own, right? You make your own requests. Question, question, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No questions. No, no questions. Okay, yo, yo, yo asumo que no, ¿verdad? Va, <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to do something. We're going to join this activity um, of the questions with the following activity where it is your turn for you to make a phone call to a friend to ask for the problems. So go ahead, go ahead, let's complete the questions, right? Complete the questions. And then from those questions, create a conversation. You call a friend and you ask your friend for, for something, right? For the products that his company sell. Let me show you here. So check. So you see? Make a phone call to a friend to ask about the products that his workplace sells in a phone How you think could, right? Because could is the one that helps you be polite. So first complete the questions we just saw before. So sorry. Uh, first we use we make the questions. And then you make up the conversation. De acuerdo? No questions. No. Okay. Next one. Teacher. Dígame. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, you could you could go to the market. Could you go to the market? Which market? Central market. Could you go to the Central. market? Yeah. Could you go? Uh, uh, if we're making a question, we have to put the could at the beginning, right? Would you go to the market for me? Mm -hmm. Sure, no problem. That on the weekend. <laughs> but not before the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. So you put good at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Any other question here? No. Via complete the questions there together and then make a mini conversation. The conversation doesn't have to be so big, so long. You can use uh, one of the four questions that you're going to write to continue with your conversation. Okay? Vámonos, pues. 
join join My fellows, but Alexa trying to join early. I'm very Nice, nice, nice. Good. Marta, hello. Eso, Alexa. Nice. Todos empezamos. Can you recall, Juven? Uh huh. You so. Uh -huh. Y digamos en lo que es Ken. Podría ser también, can you work the office today? Like the doctors or the nurses that ask others to change a schedule, ¿verdad? Can you change a schedule with me? Repeat, teacher, que no le entendí. The, the doctors or the nurses that sometimes need to change a schedule with another colleague, they say, hey, can you change a schedule with me? Can you work for me on Friday? Sometimes they pay or they just change the schedule, right? So... That that's an idea that you can get over there. Sí, teacher, pero este, um, ajá, solo que ahí lo digo como un poquito más informal, pero no. I can you charge? Sí, sí, es que que es service? informal. Recuerden ah. que es informal. El que es formal es es good. Good. Sí. Ah, okay. Okay. En la en la de cool también podría ser teacher. Eh, would you drive today? Algo corto así. Would you? Could you drive today? Would you write? No, drive. ¿Qué conducir? Oh yeah. Can you? Could you drive? Sure. Sure. Would you try today? Como todas son question, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí no vamos a ocupar lo otro que se, se pone antes el, el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Ahí no lleva verbo to be cuando ocupamos quien o could no lleva verbo to be. Ok. Okay. Um, comencemos si gusta con los ejemplos please. Hola. Hola, hola. Comencemos. Eh, ahorita solo he puesto, can you serve the coffee? Oh. 
Papi. No, yo papi. Can you serve the coffee? No, yo uh -huh. papi. Can you serve the coffee? Uh... Y con el col, ¿cuál tiene usted, Ana? Cold you. Ajá. Ahorita ya se Open the door. Uh -huh. So you open you, the door. Could you open the door? Con quién? Can, con quién you open the door? Como eran dos ejemplos, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, de cada uno. Sí. sí. Okay. Ese sería siempre quién, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Can you... Open the door. Can you open the door? Y la que le dije de manejar está bien, teacher. Can, can you can you call tell you drive today? Can you drive today? Sí. Sí, sí. Can you drive today? Uh -huh. It's like you, you're the boss, right? Or you want somebody to change? Okay. Ah, pues, ¿sí? eh, ¿Qué me podría preguntar, Silvia? Podría ser... ¿Qué tal tu día? Eh, o sea, ajá, mm. podría ser como, pero utilizando el can y el could. Could you. Ajá, yeah. como que podría, eh. podrías hablarme de, 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 de tu día o de tu trabajo. Pues mm -hmm. no sé, algo así. Eh, quiero ver. Puedes contarme qué haces en tu trabajo. Bien, es... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Could, you, could you tell me about the park? Could you tell me what you do in your day today? Can you tell me. Eh, Repita, Silvia. Can you tell me what you do? About your day today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Job today. Va, Mire, eso no, no sé, ya la tenía, pero igual, ¿qué le podríamos agregar ahí? O sea, de, lo, de las palabras que dijo, ¿qué le cambiaría? Mm -hmm. Porque eso sería parte de, de su, de, de, de su sí. línea. O sea, usted responde, the time is 5 p.m. o'clock. Nancy, could you tell me about the acerca? Ah, no, 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 no. Ahí creo que está mal redactada. Podría hablarme acerca. Ay, no, 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 pues no, está mala. Uh -huh. Sí, sería. Ya la había puesto así, pero no sé si así va bien. Ajá, sí. Es, es sí. Uh -huh. Esa creería que sí, porque la de arriba ya no se perdió la, la coherencia, la verdad. Porque era, eh, íbamos, primero estamos diciendo de que íbamos a, a como que hablar acerca del trabajo y luego como que qué haces en tu trabajo y ahí sí ya. Va. Entonces sería la, la de abajo. Can you tell me what you do in your day to day? Ok. Ok, voy yo. 
I grab. I grab at four a.m. of clock. At four a.m. or at four o'clock. Okay. Thank you. Of clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, uh, I grab a uh, uh, look at that. No, get up es cuando se despierta, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí. Ah, entonces sería wake up. No, wake up es cuando se despierta y get up ah, se levanta. Ah, va, vale. entonces estoy bien, gracias. I grab at... I going... I going... To my work at... 5 a.m. o'clock... O'clock. Um, I am work from seven. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Ya lo escribo, ya lo mando, espera. O'clock to four p.m. o'clock. Mm, I grab a uh, three o'clock. I go to my work at four o'clock and work at work, no work. Let me follow the day. And work from seven o'clock. Sí, solamente eso. <laughs> Quiero ver ahora. Mauricio, sigue usted. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué preguntaría a Silvia? O la dejamos hasta ahí. ¿Estaría bien hasta ahí, Pichero, o le agregamos? Le voy a agregar un poquitito más, todavía tienen tiempo. Okay. Would you, um, if, yes, no. would you, and can, she can speak Italian very well. Uh, I could swim, but I couldn't ride a bike when I was nine years old. You can play with Amy after do after you do your homework. Mm. You can play with Amy. Amy. 
Amy. Uh -huh. Can you play with Amy after you do you after you do your homework? You, uh, and then chicken and speak Italian by the way. Can you scan and go? Can you spell the model? You some. Can you can run very fast? Irma puede correr rápido. Can you run very fast? Te duele la rodilla. Ya no puedes. Can you run? Yeah. Uh, sometimes I I run. I run. And you can eat grapes. Can you eat grapes if you want? Ay, ya tengo sueño, teacher. Okay. It's normal. Go. Ay, sí, hoy había un montón de tráfico horrible. Would you travel? That's true. You... And that makes you get tired when there is too much traffic. It's yes. Tired. I'm very tired. Yeah. Would you help me? Would you help me? Would you help me? Would you help me? Help me. And, the, and we need to make a small conversation, right? Yes. Small conversation. When I was young, I will sleep all night alone. When I was... Um, would you... Uh, Irma, good morning. I come on a list. similar al anterior. Thanks so much calling Irma. I speak Maria. How can I help you? Wake up, Irma. <laughs> Maybe just go to sleep. In e Angie. Angie no está. No se me contesta. No está No. Irma. Voy a hacer una pequeña. Hello. Uh, thanks for calling. Okay. Ay. Estoy calling Linda y se speak. Speaking. So I was under ten year call. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, so I need to make the, <laughs> the small conversation. I yes. <laughs> no, algo similar a la que leímos. Thanks so much for calling, Irma. I speak Maria. How can I help you? Invent is invent. Invent song. Invent. <laughs> invent. And you say, how can I help you? Hi, Maria. Could you give me the 
Can you help me with the report? I will see you, right? Irma. Irma. Ahí está Irma. Hi. Irma, hello. Irma, 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 Irma. Estaba prestando atención a que la Hi, hi. Hello, 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 hello. Anybody here? Ursula Stelly, Areli, Carla. Hi. Finished. Teacher. Yes, finished. Ready, vamonos pues. I'm going to ask you to cheer. I forgot that here I fall mute. Let's see. Ready. Who will be my first volunteer? 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Everybody, by a group number one, a group number one, Alexa, Ana Luisa, Marta, and William. Hello. Hello. Sí. Hi. Vamos. ¿Eh? Okay. No. Uh, question number one. Can you work the office today? Uh, con call. Call you right today. Oh, yeah, uh, Okay. Um, can you open the door? Y no. could you start the mean the meaning please? Could you start the meeting, um, please? Uh -huh. También tenemos más teacher. Uh, can you send me the reports this week? Uh, okay. Could you start the meeting, please? Uh, and can I work from home today? Okay, nice, nice. We have one hand, Mauricio. Go ahead, Mauricio. Oh, oh you are giving a, a like. <laughs> Okay, thank you, thank you, William, Marta, Alexa, okay. and Ana Luisa. Okay, who's the next one? Hello, Rich, how are you? Mauricio, Nancy. Hello, Sylvia. Sylvia. Hello, Nancy. Hello, hello. Hello, hello guys. Hello, guys. I'm very well. She can start. Mauricio, if you tour. Go ahead. Come on, Hello. 
Okay. Hello, Bridge. How are you? Hello. I am fine. Hello, guys. I'm very well. Sylvia, can you give me the time? The time is 8 p.m. o'clock. And see, could you tell me about in your hope today? Okay, I get up at 4 a.m. o'clock. I'm going to my work at 5 a.m. o'clock and work from 7 a.m. o'clock to 4 p.m. o'clock. From 7 to 4. Sylvia, can you to go to buy food? Sure. No problem. Okay, thank you. That's all to you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Mauricio and Sylvia. Group number three, Angie, Erling, Irma, and Maria. Who? Irma. Mita, Irmita. Irma, hello, what are you? Uh, hello, Irma, Angie. <laughs> Nobody asked for teacher. Irma, 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 Ay. Irma, Irma. Es que Irma se no duerme. <risa> A ver, ¿dónde está? Yo necesito. Yo aquí estoy. Vaya, vamos. Vaya, María y e Irma, ¿verdad? Angie. Ah, Angie, ok. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Irma, can you tell me uh, what time is it now? Yes, uh, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, okay. Um, could you Please give me us a moment. Of course. Uh, could you help me with some reports? Yes, it's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. That's all, teacher. Nice, nice. <laughs> and we have one minute. To the last group, Arely, Carla, Oscar, and Ursula. Okay, teacher, it's your turn, um, Ursula. Okay. Can you help me with my homework, please? Yes, I can. I can help you. Could you buy a dress? Yes, I can, but I need ten dollars. Um, can you wash the dishes for dinner, please? Yes, I can do it. Um, the last. Ursula, um, could you call my boss, please? Yes, of course. That's all to do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. 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 Okay. Let's go to the attendance. The last attendance of the day. Let's see. Uh, Abner Adoni.
Alexa. Present teacher. Oh, it's starting to rain here in my house. Just give me a second, a second, a second. Okay, let's see. Alexa. Ana Luisa. Present teacher. Andre. Present teacher. Hi, Sanji. Present. Arely. Present teacher. Early. Present teacher. Irma, 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 hello, no responde Irma, ya ve, a ver, Carla Milena, present teacher, María, María, present teacher, Marta Marisol, Present teacher. Mauricio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nancy. Present. Oscar Humberto. Oscar. Oscar, Oscar. Silvia Evelyn. Present teacher. Úrsula. Present teacher. William. Present teacher. Excellent. Any questions? Any questions? No, no. questions. No questions. Okay, OE7, seven. Erling stays with me. And the rest of you see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. I hope you today it will be a fresh mm -hmm. night. It's starting to rain, so I hope the temperature improves. Right. And good night. Yeah, good night. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, kids. Good night. Good Don't night, forget teacher. to work the platform. Don't forget the platform. See you, see you. See you tomorrow. Hi, Erling. How are you? Hi, teacher. Um, maybe good. Why maybe good? What does it mean? Because it is raining and... You don't like the rain? No. Why? Um, because it was my work. I work at a messenger. Oh. Yes. <laughs> but not at night. But not at night. Uh -huh. But I came around uh, one hour. You were under the rain. Yeah, I I came to my house uh, uh, around one hour before. About nine. Yeah, around. And when in you the, arrived, the, it was raining. See, si, yeah. When I arrived to my house, I, it was raining. Oh, yeah, you told me that you couldn't hear because of the rain. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right now, in my house, right now, it is starting to rain. It is raining? Yeah. Your house? Uh, okay. But it's starting. Uh, here, is, it is raining around um, one hour and a half. Wow. Is it still raining? Yeah. Okay. It's raining now. Yeah.
when I was coming here, uh, it was raining, uh, but not here. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, when I was riding, it, it was raining, but when I arrive 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 here, it was no raining. It oh. wasn't raining. It started but, raining later. Yeah, it started it uh, it start around one hour here. One hour here. At night maybe. Okay. Yes. But you were home already. Yeah. Yeah, I arrived yeah. here at night. I like it when it rains because it's the weather is fresher and you sleep much better. You like? Yeah. Uh, but yeah. not when I'm outside. No. I I like mm -hmm. uh, when it's raining, but uh, maybe on my day off, for example, uh -huh. on Saturday, on Sunday, I can sleep a lot and I can do many things. For example, uh, drink a cup of coffee with a uh -huh. piece of bread, and that that is pretty good. I like it. But when I am working that. Yeah, because if you have to be outside in the street getting wet, it's not fun. No, I don't like it to be wet. Uh-huh. Uh, do you, but do you wear a special clothes for not getting wet? Yeah, I I, I get uh my I don't know how can I say kappa. That's a raincoat. Rain clothes. Raincoat. Raincoat. A rain. But okay, uh, I I get my raincoat. Um, but it doesn't protect much because you're in a motorcycle, I imagine. Yes, uh, it protects a lot, but it is uh, maybe uncomfortable. I am comfortable. And hot, uh, I imagine. Uh, yes, it's it's uh, it's hard. To be inside there, um, I don't like to use it. I, I when when it is raining and I need to to get the, the clothes. Uh, sometimes I I wait. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wait in a, in a place. Yeah, uh, for example, in a. Gasolinera, a gas station, a gas station, gas station. or maybe uh, to be down to the uh, puente under a bridge, under a, under bridge. a bridge, a footbridge yeah. would be a pasarela, a footbridge, okay, and a bridge is the other one, right? Uh -huh. Okay, but it could be the same every time. Mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> but imagine yeah no of course i don't i don't like getting wet either i like yeah. the rain i enjoy it but not getting wet yes like uh, the, the, the climb the climb is good but the weather is good uh-huh yeah because the temperature lowers right it's yeah. much better and for sleeping it's perfect it's very good to be uh, so it when it's raining, uh -huh, it's uh, but but if you got wet uh, when it's raining, the the first uh, rains, you could be sick. You can get you can, sick. Yeah, can get sick. You can get sick. The first rains yeah. and the last ones. I don't know what they have, that the first ones and the last ones they make you sick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like it. <laughs> it's better to avoid them. If possible, it's better to avoid them. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, tell me, do you have any questions about the class? Um, about the class? Uh, no. no. I... I I identify with the the topics that okay that we were talking about the last week and this week it, it's the same. I, I am identified with with that. 
Yeah. And they are kind of easy, right? That these topics yeah. are, not, are not so complicated. And so that's that's nice. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> a piece of cake, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's true. Easy. Yeah, level four is not that complicated. It's, yeah. It's something easy. Less level five, not, not a little bit, not it, not too much either. <laughs> not too much. Not too much. You we can do with it. We came with it. So it's not that yeah. complicated. And that's good. Because... I think I think I would like to get more fluence when I when I talking about uh wherever in, in English because I think it's uh I'm myself is um, a little bit slow. Mm, but you can gain that uh, practicing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By practicing, for example, when I send you to the groups, if you go to the groups, you take turns to practice the conversations, to ask questions, uh, that helps. That yeah. helps a lot. Something that I have observed with this group is that they don't like talking in the big group. In um, the small group, they speak a lot, but in this, in the big one, you know, I don't know why. Uh, because uh, a lot of people over here is, I think, I think in my mind, a lot of people is very shy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when when is uh, uh, whole people inside mm -hmm. in a in a group, they don't like. Uh, yeah. That is because that is because because uh, they I, they are they are very shy. shy. Yeah, They're probably, probably. Yeah. because in the big groups I see them chatting very well, but in the, <laughs> in the big one it's like okay, this yeah, is the... this is for the teacher to talk and we talk in the in the small one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, I I think that is because of that. Yeah, probably, probably, probably. but let let's hope that during the. During the time, they get confident and they start. Yes, uh, uh, when, when well, uh, in in my case, I I think I I get uh, uh, confidence, mm -hmm. but yeah. uh, but they don't have that. Yeah. Don't get the confidence but with the time. I think necessary. with the time they will feel like more confident. Probably. A changing teacher, it's like oh, it's a new teacher, so we don't know the teacher, we don't talk, right? But um, yes, uh, when I I am studying here around, uh, well, in basic one, I I I start here, mm -hmm. and in I I saw science basic one, every people was talking about wherever. But uh, mm -hmm. when the level is up, the level is up, uh, they don't like because uh, many people uh, change uh, their mind. Uh, they think uh, I I can't. Mm -hmm. They think I can't. Uh, um, it's too difficult. How can I say no soy para eso? No soy I'm, not, para eso. I'm not good for this. I'm not good oh, at this. Okay, uh -huh. that they 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 think that. I don't know, maybe <laughs> I think and the thing is that it is very good to try to make mistakes to do your best without worrying about making mistakes because that's part of the learning, right? The mistake is a part of the process. Definitely. Okay, Melchizedek, Melchizedek, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Yo dije, ya le cambié el nombre. So, see you tomorrow. No. Have a good rain night. And see you in class tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Catch Welcome. you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.